In the world of TFNN, let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave, folks, is the head of product at Direction, also a managing director. And let me tell you something, folks, you're going to be protecting yourself because this is a rough market. So, Dave, <laughs> I, first off, thank you for coming on. We have quite a market here. Um, and, you know, the, the bottom line is that it's been a one-way market on the way down. And, I mean, you know, as you come over to our website, folks, you, the direction banner's right there. You can hit that banner, and you can take a look at the different types of products that, um, you know, direction has. Uh, we haven't had a market like this in a, quite a while, Dave. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. And, and look, I think one of the last times I was on, you were talking about sort of the ABC structure yes. uh, that we were seeing with the S&P 500. And I mean, has that not played out? But uh, bottom line, so kudos to that call. But bottom line is that this market is having a high, hard time finding some footing. And I think what's interesting is that financial conditions, which is a measure of, you know, credit spreads, equity markets, what's happening with the Fed, you know, to try to quantify all that really aren't yet at a stress point. So, you know, I think when you're hearing calls for a further correction of seven, eight, maybe 10%, it, it, it's not implausible. So I think this environment uh, is one where people have to stay nimble. Uh, and particularly just today, you know, the inflows that we're seeing into SPDN, yes. which is our inverse 1X fund for the S&P 500, which is kind of a, that direct hedging tool, um, are, are really high. You know, again, logical, people want to take some risk off the table. But I think it's hard directionally to, to identify sort of what areas in the market um, are, go, are going to do well going forward, which is, I think, why we're starting to see with fears of 50 basis points, maybe 75 rate hikes, people just taking their chips off the table and waiting until we get to this Fed, this May meeting. Uh, and in the meantime, dealing with all these earnings that are coming out. There's no doubt. And when Dave was just talking about that one-to-one -one ETF, folks, on the S&P, this is something that you really want to understand. What happens is that, you know, you don't have to hedge your whole portfolio, but what happens, you know, let's say whether it's 50000 100000 200000 you can say that, okay, even on a daily basis, you're going delta neutral. That's my point more than anything, folks, okay? And, that you, you only want to make sure you understand what you're doing. But the, the fact of the matter is a delta neutral strategy right now is not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's, you can look at it as an insurance policy. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah, no, it's a great way to put it. The, and the other interesting thing I'll say is that and someone used this in a conversation I had earlier today. It, it's you're going long to go short in this particular case. Right. So to your point, if you have and most people are generally net long. Right. Yes. Um, particularly particularly for trading and it's a way where I can maybe continue to have the positions I want to have on, whether they're individual stocks or just the broad-based index, and, and, and kind of use part of my portfolio to hedge out some risk. Uh, and, and that tool, uh, and giving you that one-to-one -one inverse exposure on it, again, it's still, a daily, it's still a daily product. People need to understand that. Exactly. But to give you that kind of daily hedge can be pretty effective because, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's hard to read the tea leaves in this particular market. Um, because just the number one, all the uncertainty that exists geopolitically, uh, uh, coupled with these macro headwinds that we're facing and what the Fed may do. And earnings have been good, right? right net, net, um, but maybe not good enough really to get that confidence back. We'll see again. I mean, ask anyone, this week's going to be super important with Alphabet tonight, Amazon, Apple later in the week. Uh, and if, frankly, if they're not shooting the lights out, you know, I think that the negative momentum and the bears are going to kind of continue to be in charge here, at least until we get to that Fed meeting. No, there's no doubt. Now, I want to change gears on you, and I'm not sure whether you can speak about this, but if we can just speak about that, I was, um, there's been a lot of articles out, actually, that Direction is going to beat uh, the other two larger funds with ETFs and leverage ETFs inside of the Bitcoin market. Well, they may, okay, because the, the bottom line is, is that, uh, so is this something you can talk about? On the air, maybe. Yes. Yeah, so we fi we filed for uh, a, a a fund that effectively off, uh, would offer the in inverse exposure uh, to, uh, to to Bitcoin. Right. Uh, can't speak to if if that is going to be available or when that's going to be available. Um, but you know, a similar idea. And I think in this market, it's been difficult to find anything to hold up well. Yes. Uh, you know, B Bitcoin has been challenged. Right. Uh, Oil is obviously having a bit of a better today, but there's been days where commodities have been whacked just alongside oh, stocks. Oh yeah. So, what we're thinking of is continuing to provide tools really for tactical traders to either 
have that ability to 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 outperform, but also increasingly trying to bring tools for people to kind of hedge their portfolios. Right. And this would be this would be one of those similar to kind of we talked about SPDM. So traders, you know, stay nimble but stay active because uh, it's going to be kind of uh, I think rough sailing at least for the next couple of weeks. No, exactly. And listen, congratulations because that was a great move, and I, I, we're going to get this explained on the air. Because pretty cool, man. Really cool. You have a great one, a safe one, Dave. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from uh, yesterday. Thank you. Have a great one. Thank have a you. safe one.